Hello friends and happy Monday. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's a great day today. We're going to be doing a little art project slash science experiment today. We are going to use some art materials to see how water can transfer through a certain material to another end of water. So go ahead and look at the next slide to know what you are going to need for this art project and come right back here and we can get started. What you'll need for this art project are two paper towels, two cups half full of water, and markers, all of the colors of the rainbow. The first thing I'm going to do is lay my paper towels right on top of each other flat on the table. I'm going to use my markers to create a rainbow pattern on my paper towel, starting with red. I'm going to make about a two inch thick strip of color, and then I'll move on to the next color. I'll keep going until I am at the other end of the paper towel with my pink. Now I'm going to repeat that step on the other side of my paper towel. Make sure when you're doing the other side of your paper towel, the widths of your color are matching up with the other side. So when they're transferring through the paper towel with the water, they're matching up with the color on the other side and it makes a rainbow. We're going to take our paper towel and put both sides in the cups with water. We're going to make sure that the bottom of the paper towel is touching the bottom of the cup. And we're just going to make an arch in between. And while we wait for these colors to meet each other in the middle, we're going to read a book. I'm going to have a little video of this up in the corner while I read so we can see the progress during the story. My Lazy Cat This is Boomer. Mom found him on our front porch one day, fast asleep and spread out like a pancake. When she brought him inside, he curled up, smiled, and fell asleep right on my feet. That's when I knew he was my cat. Boomer is tubby and chubby. He's all puffed up like a balloon. He has two pointy ears that stick out from his round head and four paws that are too small for his body. Boomer is my best friend. He gives the best hugs and purrs like a tiger. But Boomer is lazy. One word can't explain how lazy he is. He's a slug, a sloth, a slacker, a lounger, a loafer, a lazy bones. He snoozes and slumbers, dozes and dowses. No one does it better. Then there's me. I don't have a minute to waste. I have judo, swimming, yoga, painting, and pottery, knitting, soccer, and biking with my friends. 
I have a full day and I can't be late. I don't have time to cuddle, Boomer. Get out of my way. I have to get ready for my day. First, I put on my bathing suit and pack my bag for swim class, but Boomer uses my swim cap for a sleeping cap. Then I gather my paintbrushes and pencils, but Boomer is lying on my art project. Boomer, move! It's almost time for soccer. Last, I grab my cleats, but then... Bam! I trip over Boomer. All my stuff goes flying across the room while Boomer snores. What a mess. Now I'll miss soccer for sure. I feel like crying. But then I look at Boomer, and Boomer looks at me, and we laugh and laugh. Boomer wants to show me something. He leads me to the backyard. We plop down in the grass and look at ladybugs. We listen to the wind blow through the branches of the big pine tree. I'd forgotten that pine tree was even there. We wander over to the pond and listen to the drip drip of the water and the bloop bloop of the fish and the ribbit ribbit of the frogs. Our stomachs gurgle, so we munch on berries and cherry tomatoes and pick plums and pears off the trees. I haven't done this since I was on vacation at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Now we're full and sleepy. We lie down at the bottom of the cherry tree and watch the clouds float across the sky. I hug Boomer and he purrs like a tiger. We're so happy together, doing nothing at all. At dinner, Mom and Dad ask me, What did you do today? Nothing, I smile. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me today for another arts and crafts project. This was super fun. I hope you enjoyed the book in between and I will see you tomorrow.